Will you just die, Edgar? Get your butt out of my face. There's nothing worse than having Edgar butt right in your face. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19 Experimental, where we play this game on the same difficulty. These arms are all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. All right, in this episode, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to sell some stuff to the trader, make a little bit more bank, um, and then I'm probably going to go uh, do some mining for a little while before we start the next quest. I'll do most of that, if not all of that, off camera, however. Um, because we are really low on lead in particular, and we've got a, a decent supply of gunpowder, but I'd like to get a little bit more of that going, too. Um, so lead is going to be the primary thing we're going to go after. we got 435 bullet casings and um, quite a bit more brass. Smelt it down into the forge here um, from the... What I'm trying to say. From the cars we wrenched in the last episode. It's getting late. I should go to bed. But I wanted to do one more episode before I went to bed. So I'm a little bit rummy right now. But bear with me. <laughs> okay. So let's go see what we can sell to traders. Oh, I know what else I was going to do. Um, we never opened we never opened that, that safe right there. Uh, so let's, uh, let's do that right now. We tried to in the very early, uh, a very early episode, and we bust our lock picks. All right, that doesn't suck. Um, that we could put on probably on here. Can we, I don't think we can put that on here, can we? We can. Yeah, but we're never going to really fire the rifle from the hip, though. So it makes more sense to put it on here. If you got the dukes, I'll make the time. We need to find a bear and get some testosterone so we can make this cigar. All right, let's see. Is this a new inventory? No, it's not. Okay, so yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna burn repair kits on that stuff. Oh, she doesn't want those, huh? So we're almost to ten thousand. Very, very close. Very close. All right. Well, um. Thanks for the business. Stay safe out there. I think what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna do a little bit of mining. And uh, then what we'll do? We have two quests we have to do. We've got a tier two fetch, which I'm actually gonna make the active quest, and that's very close to us. Oh, it's in the it's in the cream, uh, right? Yeah, it's in the creamery place. I've never been in there, so that ought to be interesting. So we'll check that out. Um, but guys, what I think I'll do? Well, shit. Should we do that now and then I can mine at night? Yeah, maybe that'll make more sense. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and just do the creamery now. And if I get a chance, I'll see if I can run that stuff over to over to uh, Trader Hugh before he closes and get that sold too. I don't remember if I've hit these vending machines today or not. So let's take a quick look at them. It uh, doesn't look like it. I'm going to grab an eye candy, another sugar butts. And, you know, we don't need jailbreakers because we, um, I mean, you know, we can make unlimited lock picks. And uh, so, yeah, we just don't need it. Not important. Oh, yeah, we definitely want that. I'm going to keep buying Rockbusters for mining. I already have like two or three back at the base. Now we have quite a bit. Because that's, you know, before, until we can get our mining skills up and get an auger, uh, that's really going to help getting that stuff. Okay, let me, uh, let me just drop this stuff off at the base real quick and I'll meet you over at the quest. All right, Nava's Game Creamery. Brand new POI for me, and uh, also new to Alpha 19 anyway. So let's just do it legit, and we'll check it out, and then uh, once we know where the fat loots are, the next time we do one of these POIs, we'll know where to go uh, to double loot. 
All right, so. Place is pretty ruined, isn't it? You know, we probably better repair that. It's getting close. This is also a retrieve quest. Okay, there's a Zikaruski right there. Man. I mean, if we start a fight with him here, is stuff going to jump on our head? I don't know what the answer to that is, but I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? Just keep using this silencer so we can stay quiet. Did we not hit him? We must not have. Here, let's do this guy first because he's a little easier to get to. Not good. Afraid something's gonna jump down on our head here. Nope, we're good. Okay. Almost wonder if I shouldn't put the silencer on the pistol. It's not gonna do anywhere near the damage that the rifle does, but you know, I can fire off a bunch of shots all at once. Or nearly all at once. Whereas the rifle takes such a long time to reload. There's a workbench in here. Oh, wow, look at that. Cool, okay. Okay, quest part's done. That was easy. What do we got in here? Is that the way? I think that's the way we need to go, right? There is this door, though, here, too.
Okay. Let's go this way. What the hell? No, 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 no. Wow. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't quite figure out what the hell was going on at first. So I'm like, was a, a little bit uh, <laughs> in panic mode there for a second. Ah, shit. We got an infection. Um. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That uh, That sucks. And we have an abrasion too, but that'll be taken care of. Well, let's just keep going. I mean, I've got antibiotics back at the base. I don't want to go back there right now because I don't think there's a lot more to do here, but I could be wrong. Let's just keep going for now. And we'll just kind of keep an eye on things. Door is locked. Man, all these freaking lockers are broken. Sucks. Should probably load this, huh? Nothing in there. What do we have here? That's it? Must be like the big milk tanks or something, I guess. We'll sell those and just scrap those because we've got a BDU top on. Okay, so you can find loot in those things, you just have to keep looking. I wonder what that door is. Oh, there's another room over here. Okay. I was going to say, I thought I saw it. 
um, a blue 55 gallon drum down here, but it's over that direction. Okay, let's keep going. This place is, uh, it's interesting. It's, uh, it's not super linear, so it's like a whole bunch of different ways you could go. Trees in the way, I can't see what's up. I wonder what's in those locked rooms. I knew something was going to happen. I just felt it in my bones. Frickin' buzzard. Are there more where he came from? Okay, you know what, before we go over there, there's a couple things over here. Eh, I don't want that. Well, we might as well scrap it. What the hell? Um, there was a duffel bag up there. Probably gonna have shit in it, but might as well check. You never know. Yeah, we'll take some pumpkin seed. Building took quite the thrashing, didn't it? Oh, scrap a doodle. Getting there. Sleepy in here somewhere. I don't see him. Oh, are they up in the ceiling? No, I don't think so. I don't like this. Let's, um... Oh, it's just a crawler. <laughs> Come here, crawler. Or two crawlers. Beautiful. I can make bandages out of those. Tempered blade schematic. All right, we need to get rid of a couple things because we are getting full up. All right, let's just try that and see. Got to be getting close now. we were in there before. Okay. All 
Are we going to get rushed again? Stuck in aim mode there for a second. This is a pretty long POI for a tier two. Oh man, this is not good. <laughs> I can't see a damn thing. Oh. I could be walking right on top of a sleeper's head. I'm gonna get to that ladder over there. This is bad. Oh my goodness. Uh. Wow. Oh shit! Oh, I thought we were falling all the way down. <laughs> I was gonna go, no! Oh man, okay. That's the ladder we need to get to, so let's do this. Let's go back over this way. Okay. Jumper buzzards. Buzzards and all of these guys. Will you just die, Edgar? Get your butt out of my face. There's nothing worse than having Edgar butt right in your face. Okay, I think we made it to the top. Yeah, that tree... <laughs> that tree made that really tricky down there, didn't it? Uh, oh, I guess we could have nerd pulled up there, but I didn't know. Let's just make sure we're clear all the way around. Okay, here we are. We have a weapons bag and a couple of working stiff crates and some food. So there's not a... There isn't a big, like, fat loot uh, crate. <sighs> do we want to burn these now? Yeah, what the hell, let's do it. Nah. Maybe we'll find a, an auger. Uh, nah, I don't think I want that either. Oh, it's a chamois crate. All right, that's it for the creamery. Yeah, that was a fairly substantial POI for a tier two. It really was. Okay, uh, let's see. Excuse me, guys. Um, who gave us this quest? Was this Trader Hugh or Tra or Trader Jen? Old Victorian, kill all the zombies and retrieve the shipment. So that's a fetch and a clear. So uh, yeah, I think this was Trader Jen's quest. Okay, good. All right, guys. Well, I will meet you back at Trader Jen's for the turn-in. Uh, I just got to figure out how to get off of this thing without killing myself. <laughs> uh, can we drop down through here? Uh, I want to get back to the base, too, before our infection turns to level 5. Um, because then a honey won't cure it, and then we'll have to burn an antibiotic. And I'd rather just use a honey if we can. We 
we've got the best prices in the wasteland. Here's your pay for a job well done. Spear Hunter, increased projectile speed and range by 50%. I don't really care about spears. I mean, they're they're good. They're really good early game weapons, I think, but I just wasn't impressed with them in the in the late game when I tried them in our Wasteland series. So um, I don't need a hammer. So yeah, three large first aid kits. We will take those for our reward. All right, let's do another job from you. Closest one is, oh shit, these are all a million miles away. Doggone it. Um, all right, let's, they're all to the south too. We'll take them. I've got the... a bit of a problem. Can you help me out? We'll take the fetch and clear, I guess. Oh, this is a dangerous one. Try not to, um, get radiated. Yeah, right. That's this one here. So we'll make that active. It's all the way on the north end of town. All right, guys, this is the same house that we did uh, two episodes ago, or one episode ago. Can't remember now. Um, I mean, it's it's not only the same POI, but it's the same actual house. So I think what we'll do is let's just... Oh, nice. We got a beaker and a working workbench. Let's just blitz this house really quick. Let's see if we can just tag it on to the end of this episode because... Uh, oh, wow. Nice. Um, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to make a, a, a whole nother episode out of this appeal that we've already done. So uh, let's just see if we can get through it quickly without our, our episode getting too terribly long. Uh, 51 block damage versus 56 block damage with that mod. That's got to be a bug. That's got to be a bug. All right, what are we going to get rid of this time? Let's get rid of the iron. And those are worth fixing up and selling. Let's repair those. Um, Let's eat these. All right, what do we got here? 
Ooh, look at that. A steel sledgehammer. It's a shitty one, but it's a steel sledgehammer nonetheless. So that gives us 43 and 81. Um, where did it go? 48 and 106. Yeah, that's a significant upgrade. Okay, so we'll take this. We'll sell this one. And um, I need to make three more spots because I'm not coming back up here. There we go. All right, guys. That is it for this episode. I am not going to make it back to Trader Hugh before nightfall. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mine overnight. And then in the morning, we'll start the next episode where we will do our turn in with Trader Hugh and then uh, see where we're at from there. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.